Okay, so thank you, everybody. Wow. Intermediate, Rockford, present perfect. Firstly, we learned a new reason for using present perfect. A few weeks ago, something that started in the past that continues to the present experiences, but today we learned that we can use present perfect to highlight the importance of a recent event. We use we use TV headlines, newspaper headlines, and stuff like that to really highlight. This is something that has just happened very recently. And then we learned over here how to form the present perfect passive. So the difference is, here we've got an active sentence. Uh, let's take an example. Um, a runner has failed a drugs test. So here we have a runner, there's the subject, has, because that's present perfect, we need to have this, has or have, and then here's the past participle, it's a regular verb, so it doesn't change anyway, and then here's the object of the sentence. This is a standard present perfect active sentence. To make it passive, we then take the object and make it into the subject. So for example, here we say, a drugs test has been failed. And then of course, if you want to add the old subject you, as the object you can by using by a runner. So we do this because we're now not interested in this aspect. We're not interested in who did something. We're, we're interested in what was done. The drugs test that was has been failed by a runner. Now, um, so here it is over here. This is what it looks like. And remember, when you've got a subject, uh, a sentence in the active, you can change it into the passive by not worrying too much about the subject, getting rid of the subject, and making the object into the focus. On the sentences we've done today, you can't necessarily do that unless you know who did the deed. So for homework you need to do a little bit of playing around to make that up. But in general that's what we've done today. Thank you.